We've made this retail concept for ABN AMRO. It started about half a year ago, and since three years I work for Van der Schoot, who is the, let's say, retail boss of the bank. It's our craft to invent, internationally and very quickly, retail concepts for the big jump forward. I'm sure that if you want to do something with shops, we can invent something exciting for you too. Well, just take a look. A merger involves many changes, and that requires an enormous amount of energy from all of us. Energy that we use to take great steps forwards. Steps which, without a merger, would be inconceivable. ABN AMRO is making such steps in a number of different areas, also in our branch offices. The market is changing drastically. Competition changes. The consumer changes. The business client is becoming increasingly aware and involved. People are becoming more critical in their buying behavior. Want to understand more and more. Want to know what they buy and why they buy it. Just like you. For after all, when you walk out of this office, you are a consumer too. We are facing some major challenges. We want to further enhance the client appeal of our branch offices. Clearly distinguish ABN AMRO from all other suppliers of financial services. Ensure that people will at least take a look at what ABN AMRO has to offer before they make a definite decision, whether they be private clients or company owners. Ensure that our clients regard us as the place to buy banking products. These things require new ideas. Both merger partners, ABN and AMRO, had been improving sales structure for quite some time. Now, we have the unique opportunity to develop all these ideas on what a bank could really be like. Because we want to be the bank. Now we can really change our more than 1400 branch offices into recognizable high quality specialist shops where you go for efficient and clear advice on financial subjects where you can discuss your options where you can arrange your affairs more satisfactorily more profitably more efficiently the major problem we and every other bank in the world have to solve is that financial services are intangible, invisible, that there is no real product. The ABN AMRO product presentation system makes financial services visible, tangible, does not hide them in inaccessible manuals or complicated brochures. Instead, the PPS explains each product in its own separate pamphlet. We start with the 135 main products. This number will later be increased to 250 to 300 products, in the private as well as in the business area. The ABN AMRO PPS collects these understandable brochures in columns, producing a conveniently arranged shop suddenly facilitating work, which also becomes evident from the reactions of employees who have already become acquainted with the system. It just looks nice, friendly, inspiring, stimulating to the client as well as to the employees. I have high expectations from the PPS. No, a very nice idea, very good. The PPS offers our clients the opportunity to familiarize themselves in peace and quiet, free of obligations, in an early exploratory stage, giving them the chance to explore all possibilities without having to bare their souls to anyone. With this, a client can already orientate himself. 
much more than before, can ask more specific questions. It gives you a better start. This is the first system to make this possible. PPS shows the interrelationships between products, promoting cross-selling. C is buying. It is all very clear indeed. It starts with the basic features of a product. You can add all the accessories, the extras, cut to the specific wishes of each client. With this new system, the client, uh, also the business client, who's of course much more in our branches than the few times or the one time per year that we see him, is confronted in an accidental way with a lot of other products. PPS gives you all the necessary information on all products immediately available. You see the connections. You can find the same kind of information in the same spot in each brochure, which is very convenient when you are engaged in consultative talks. First of all, on the front cover, the first recognition. Then, on the back cover, the main questions in the selling process. Each brochure has the same layout, a very well-considered structure, which facilitates the sales and advisory processes, because you know where to find everything. Well, I believe it will be much easier to make our people cross the barrier to selling. Now, through the multitude of products, and of course, all that product know-how, which you must have at the top of your head, that is the real problem, which translates into sales fear. And now, all the product features are clearly listed at the back, so nobody has to have all that knowledge at the ready. I expect a lot of it, especially in the daily routine, at the sales side. People will cross the barrier much easier to suggest products. It's right in front of them, in the brochure displays. This is a perfect addition to your memory. You see the whole package in front of you. Logical in all respects, the entire system has been worked on for years at secret locations in Amsterdam and Zwolle under the code name XJ9. The system was given trial runs, refined, improved. Employees from all over the country subjected the system to extremely critical tests. Marketing cracks were invited to express harsh criticism. Consumer reactions were examined. Well, it was a bit strange to them too. They didn't quite know what to do with it, were reluctant to take it out of the display, but then it all became quite natural. They take it out, read it, it proves to be very supportive to them too. And now, in its final version, the ABN AMRO product presentation system shows that it fully meets the requirements. Always had the impression that we had to think more towards the consumers, which happens with this project. About time it's going to go this way. Very good system. I'm very enthusiastic about it. It's a pity they didn't start earlier with it. The finished system has probably already arrived at your bank, still wrapped up, waiting to be used. And on the 23rd, it will be unwrapped and turn your office into a financial shop with a unique system for the supply and sale of financial services. The mode of operation of the uniquely basic PPS is simple and self-evident. The employee will immediately understand it. The client will immediately understand it. Each consumer buys his products in this way nowadays. His TV, his house. Many clients will still approach their consultant in the traditional fashion, which will probably continue for a while. In that event, it will prove to be very easy and useful for the employee to introduce them to the PPS. Or if that seems a better idea, to give them some time to familiarize themselves. Some clients already have a fairly accurate idea of what they want. Manage fairly quickly to make a proper decision. Do not hesitate. Others, however, still need quite some assistance. But a very important aspect, something that applies to all clients, is that it has become so much easier to help them form ideas. 
they now see the products that are for sale. With PPS, clients will inquire about more products, while employees will often get an additional idea as well. A number of people will be nosing around on their own. It is easy to approach these people. There is something tangible to talk about. You will soon introduce another product, if only because you do not have to look for it. It is right there within easy reach. In addition, there are people who will not want to use the PPS at all. Some just like the traditional way of sitting in an office and being served. No problem either. But even then, the PPS will make it a great deal easier, after stock taking, to quickly arrive at the proper advice. A number of people will be unable to see the PPS, for they are advised at home or at the office. In that case, however, it will be much easier for the consultant to prepare his advice. And that particular client too will later, when he goes out and does come to the bank, recognize the products recommended in the PPS. Look, I go out and visit the people, and then when they become a client, they get into contact with this office, and then I hope they use this office to fill in the rest too. Much easier than it was. I mean, you always had to ask them, do you have this, do you have that? Now you take them with you to the office, which I always do anyway, introduce them, talk to them. I think immediately. Those subjects are standing there anyway, so you get to work with them. At any rate, in nearly all cases, also as a good preparation of the well-considered computer-aided consultancy procedures, the ABN AMRO product presentation system will prove a splendid instrument for the client and the employee. It demands a certain interaction between client and consultant, which both can profit from. It's not only the client that picks up his brochure and says, this is what I want. The employees too can use this to sell a certain product. ABN AMRO's advice will be experienced as being much better, for the employee will be able to use his skills in a much more creative fashion. In this way, we really give substance to the new identity of the ABN AMRO, notably the best place for orientation, advice and purchase of banking products. The Bank. I think it's very clear and operates well, and I believe that a lot of new clients will go for it. For me, it's nothing more than just a logical idea. Well, a lot of people still think about a bank as rather impersonal, with a different atmosphere, but it's more attractive now. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I am very glad that your colleagues reacted so positively when they first saw this new product presentation. You and the branches will, in a minute, be guided into the secrets of this product presentation system. I am convinced that you will react just as positive as your colleagues. That is why I wish you lots of success. And I wish you also lots of success.